Hey everyone, Emily Jackson here from Great Family Adventure, and today I'm gonna to be sharing some tips around helmet safety. Helmet safety is something that's really important to our family because we know how important it is to protect our brains and especially our children's brains as they're developing. Did you know that by wearing a helmet, it can reduce serious head injuries by 69% and fatal head injuries by 33%. So those numbers alone are a reason enough for our family to always choose to wear a helmet. Just because you're wearing a helmet doesn't mean that it has all the capabilities of keeping you safe. So there are some key things when putting on a helmet and wearing a helmet that you need to know to make sure that the helmet is doing its full job. My husband, Nick Troutman, has had multiple head injuries throughout the course of his life. And we've known from a firsthand experience how that can deeply affect you. So for us, we recognize that it's not even the biggest hits that really have a big impact on your head long term. So for our kids, if they're going out anywhere at all, we have a helmet on at all times policy. Step one for picking the right helmet for your kids is taking measurement of their head. So the circumference of their head is gonna help you understand on the manufacturer's website, which helmet is gonna fit them best. Yeah. Let's see how big that head is. Uh -huh. Once you've got the right size helmet, the next step is deciding what style of helmet you want. For biking, there are two that we look at, and that's skater style or bike style. The next step is to make sure that the helmet's on the right place on their head. You don't want it too far back and you don't want it too far forward. It should fit about two fingers above their eyebrow to the top. Good? Solid. That one's good. What about you, Parker? Let's see, is it two fingers? That's about right. If you go down a little bit more, there you go, much better. Another thing you wanna do is make sure that the helmets aren't rocking back and forth. So once they're on their head, there are different ways to outfit the helmet onto their head. Some come with padding and some come with a ratchet in the back. Make sure whichever style you're using that the helmet isn't wobbling on top of their head. It should be pretty snug. They should move their head around when you're moving the helmet. That's the ears. There you go. Before we continue, I wanna take a minute to say thank you to Bosch. Bosch e-bike systems gives my family that extra boost that we need to say yes to adventure. I really enjoy the Bosch e-bike systems because it allows me to explore and it gives me a little extra power when I need it. So taking the kids, getting groceries or just adventuring, sometimes having a little extra energy in the bank is always appreciated. So thank you to Bosch for making it a reality and now let's get back to the video. When it comes to outfitting the helmets and making sure that they're nice and snug on your kid's head, you're gonna wanna make sure that with the biker style helmet, you really tighten down on that wheel till the helmet is not moving or wobbling on top of the kid's head. It should feel nice and snug. And if it's a skater style helmet, it's gonna come with some pad and some Velcro. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and pad that helmet out so it also feels nice and snug on top of the head. The other thing to remember that when you're trying to work with your kids in helmets is to make sure it's a habit that they understand when it comes to getting out on a bike, on a scooter, or anything with wheels and moving where they could be going fast. It's good to have a helmet on. Our kids have a no bike, no scooter, nothing with wheels policy unless they have their helmet on. And we make no exceptions because honestly, if you start making exceptions, accidents could happen. So be sure to make sure your kids understand helmets first always. One more rule that we find really important when it comes to helmets and safety is wear them. Often people have helmets, but they don't put them on all the time. So it's not a habit. For our kids, they know you don't go on your bike and you don't go on anything with wheels that's moving without your helmet on. And by creating this rule, my kids understand that if they get caught without a helmet, they're gonna lose the opportunity to ride them. So be sure to make it a habit because safety first means really going ahead and wearing it. Those are my main points for choosing a helmet for your kids and for safety. Be sure to make sure your kids understand helmets first always.